Supiang left Singapore for Europe in October 1961, bringing over a hundred paintings on the trip. He started in London and passaged through Luxembourg, Brussels, Paris, Amsterdam, Venice, Rome, and Munich. Along the way, he also met up with students he previously mentored at the Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts, like Mak Kam Siu and Chia Yu Qian. He visited different tourist attractions, and of course, many museums and galleries. After many years of looking through art magazines and catalogues, Su Pieng finally had the opportunity to observe in person the many splendid artworks by European masters, and at the same time, immerse in the European contemporary arts and culture. During his almost two years sojourn in Europe, Su Pieng was as much a purposeful artist as he was a curious tourist. He created many sketches, drawings and paintings, and they captured his shift towards a new lyrical abstract style which was the focus of his oil practice from 1962 to 1965. These works evoke the fluid gesture of Chinese ink wash to achieve a visual style reminiscent of British master J.M.W. Turner's atmospheric and voluminous rendering of nature. To express this technique, Su Pieng also adopted the thin oil application and used it for many canvas works of this period. By the time he left Europe, he had accomplished four solo shows at Frost and Reed Gallery and Redfern Gallery in London, at Gallery Schoeninger in Munich, and at Bean Lane Gallery in Oxford. In October 1963, Su Pieng opened a major solo exhibition comprising 180 works at the Victoria Memorial Hall marking his return to the Singapore art scene with remarkable flair and success. The exhibition was the biggest one-man show in Singapore at the time. Frank Sullivan said this of Su Pieng's new work in the artist's 1963 exhibition catalogue. Throughout all his work in this exhibition, there is a remarkable feeling for atmosphere, almost tangible to the eye. The contour of colour, although still understated in contrast to many of his contemporaries, and his harmony of tones show even richer delicacy and texture. To put it simply, his technique is masterly. The geometry of abstract art captured Su Pieng, but he has not wholly made up his mind. Some of his landscapes, in contrast to the past, are impressions half glimpsed and blurred, but nevertheless real. Europe had broadened Su Pieng's perspectives and gravitated his practice towards more abstract and mixed-media work. Between 1965 and 75, his unbridled drive for pictorial innovation led to the birth of several new distinct series. The pastoral series features the recurring motif of a horizon amidst an idyllic or dreamy pastoral scenery. The kampong house, boat, tree, or human figure are pared down to simplified forms but remain somewhat recognisable within an abstract landscape. Many works continue to bear strong traces of the lyrical abstract style he developed in Europe, and on canvas works the thin oil technique was sometimes executed in effect of Chinese ink. This series is recognisable for its kidney-shaped structure and segmented colour spaces. The composition is sustained by organic forms and soft curves and fluid edges. It is also monochromatic and tranquil in spirit. At times, Su Pieng would incorporate the motif of a horizon or some distilled element suggestive of a compound scene or natural landscape. Around 1967, Su Pieng also developed a highly schematic compositional style that recalls the abstract imagery of Spanish artist Juan Miro. Works from this series were usually executed in thin oil on canvas or paper and feature a minimal palette. To date, very little is understood of this series, as it is extremely limited in quantity and Su Pieng himself never explained the meanings behind the symbols. However, there appear to be other palpable influences apart from Miro. The shallow space and overlapping planes seem to bear reference to English artist Ben Nicholson's work, while the suspended coloured shapes hanging around firm sinewy lines recall the forms of stabiles and mobiles by American sculptor Alexander Calder.
though the exact motivations and meanings behind most of Su Pieng's abstract series remain largely elusive to us, the works are identifiable by recurring visual themes and motifs, and they are uniquely Su Pieng. One of the biggest and most sustained series, which began in the late 60s and lasted into the late 70s, is the abstract construction with geometric and checkered clay. He developed many variations of this style and in different colour schemes and materials. The interplay of geometric shapes, lines and contours is a distinct feature of this series. This series really reflects Su Pieng's uncaged creativity. Here we have abstract landscape from 1967. Again, we confront this recurring imagery of a horizon hanging over a geometric arrangement of shapes and lines. The elements along the top of the composition appear to be loose suggestions of landscapes and trees. In fact, they somewhat resemble the impression of squares, which catch eerily when looking through the windows of an airplane. The centre is dominated by four clustered squares, which are filled with juxtaposing elements of hard and soft edges. These elements revolve in an odd, continuous sequence. There is also a mind-bending illusion of depth, where some elements can be seen hanging over a foreground, if not flowing in continuity from one square to the next. Meanwhile, others recede or break away from each other. Another example is green and gold abstract, which is also constructed through a unique geometric play. Despite the intersecting shapes and movements, there is an order amid chaos in this pattern of irregularity. The unity of its design is playfully broken up by black rectangle in the middle right. This rectangle seems to hover in front of everything else in the composition. This is a beautiful and enigmatic painting that resonates with cosmic harmony. Another important development between the mid-60s and 70s was Su Pieng's adoption of scrap metal objects and other unconventional materials in his image-making process. A wide range of tools have been observed in his scrap metalwork series. These include copper, iron and aluminium sheets, iron nails, rivets, metal wires, woks and jutes. The purposeful use of these found industrial materials allowed him to achieve a sculptural and tactile quality beyond the means of painting. Alongside this metalwork series, Su Pieng also created a group of mixed media relief painting. Some of these works reflect a technique similar to the cloisonné art form. 